uh, recent historical examples that help contextualize what this path of peace looks like in our world today. First up, peace exposes tension. In Luke 12, 51, Jesus says, Do you think that I have come to bring peace to the earth? No, I tell you, I have come instead to bring division. Now these are no doubt difficult words from Jesus. Words that we might just as soon skip over in the gospel. But let's acknowledge a basic truth. Jesus wasn't afraid to confront, to expose tension. Let's take stock. When Jesus preached a message of God's liberation for all people, an angry mob tried to push him off a cliff. When Jesus healed the sick on the Sabbath, the religious authorities made plans to arrest him. And when Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey to undermine the authority of the empire, and then went into the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers to undermine the authority of the Jewish leaders, they resolved to execute him. As we read the gospel, it becomes clear that Jesus came to confront anything and anyone that opposed the love of God. But Jesus doesn't value confrontation as an end in itself. He's not like some people you may know, perhaps members of your own family, who like to pick a good fight over the holidays just for the fun of it. <laughs> Instead, for Jesus, confrontation is a necessary means to a greater end.